Good morning, everyone. We are in my car. Welcome to my car. We are on our way to the thrift store after I get this chicken sandwich, and we're doing a little thrift flip today. I have not done a thrift flip in a while, but I downloaded TikTok the other night for the second time in my life. Here's the thing. I'm in my mid, almost to late 20s, and I hate 90% of what I see on TikTok. I don't know if that generation just missed me or or what but I'm like I hate this I hate this I hate this cringe 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 delete delete the app but deep deep in the caverns of TikTok there is a sewing community on there and I I can get behind that so I was watching this girl and she took her dad's hi Jessica oh my I'm never filming in the car again I'm never filming in the car again anyway as I was saying she took her dad's old dress shirts button-down shirts and she made these cute two-piece sets out of them and I was like I can do that Jessica thank you oh my god I'm humiliated oh god I'm gonna throw this camera out the window all right I've got it I'm going far away I'm going far away okay to the thrift store all right I am at my favorite thrift store in the world in Nashville I'm also gonna eat this real quick all right, let's go thrift shop. I got eyes and eyes. I can see that you're coming. Well, I tell me who's that boy over there. No. When I tell you this thrift store, it never lets me down. It truly never lets me down. I still have fries. All right, I'm gonna go home, wash these bad boys, and then we're gonna start sewing. All right, we got shirt number one. I just put some biker shorts on so you know I'm wearing pants. Has this cute little checkered print. Has a pocket that I will probably remove. Wait, what's that? You like my necklace and my earrings? Oh my gosh. Well, this is probably a good time to tell you about the sponsor of this video. Sustainable, eco-friendly practices are so important to me and this channel, which is why we love upcycling clothing, like what I'm doing right now, and eliminating waste and our carbon footprint in the world and all of those things. These pieces are by an amazing company called Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa really focuses on ethical, sustainable, eco-friendly practices to make their jewelry, and they make the cutest things. The materials that their jewelry is made of is either 14 karat solid gold, which is what these cute little earrings are dipped in and sterling silver which are both 100% recycled material which is so cool also they use gold plated brass which is what this necklace is made of and these cute little mini huggy earrings which I wear these every single day and these are recycled sterling silver dipped in 14 karat gold I'm a simple girl when it comes to jewelry which is why I really love this jewelry because they are pieces that I can wear every single day with any outfit how cute is this I always love these little huggy earrings for the second piercing and ow and this little one up here how flippin' cute and Ana Luisa jewelry is so affordable they range from $39 to higher end jewelry so there's something for everyone and I love it so go check them out this ends my little TED talk about Ana Luisa all right back to the try on shirt number two I'm gonna use this one for the bandeau top because I hate this collar for some reason. Why do I hate this collar? Oh, because it's buttoned. Okay, it's better. This is better. Wait, this is cute now. All right, let's get started. I am starting with the checkered outfit. So I'm gonna take my first shirt, flip it inside out so I can make little marks on it. I'm gonna lay down this skirt and trace the top and the bottom of it. This is to get the length right. Now I'm straightening my lines. And moving up to the top, I'm gonna make this little rectangle. This is gonna be for the bandeau top. I'm making sure to make this as wide as my bust measurement, plus seam allowance, plus room to add darts later. So I'm gonna cut that out. All right, I'm gonna unbutton the skirt and I'm gonna figure out the place where I want to put the slits. So all I did was put the skirt on and I put a little pin where I wanted to put the slits. Simple as that. I'm gonna put a vertical line where that pin was on both sides, and then I'll cut it out. And now our skirt is separated into three pieces. Now I'm cutting little straps out of this sleeve that I didn't need, and these look big, but I'm gonna fold them in half eventually. All right, now we're moving on to the plaid outfit. I really need to remind myself to quit making these dang pageant poses in my videos. Okay, so I'm laying the shirt out nice and flat, inside out, and I'm gonna lay down this shirt that fits me well. 
Okay, now I'm taking my Taylor's chalk and I'm tracing around the sleeves and down the side seams. And then I'm gonna take a ruler and add seam allowance all around. Now I'm cutting it out and here we go. I'm about to mess up really bad. I'm messing up. I just messed up. I cut my shirt way too long, which left not enough room for the skirt. I just messed up so bad. I messed up so bad. I'm gonna problem solve, figure out how I'm gonna fix this catastrophe now. Okay, so I'm gonna cut my shirt at the correct length this time. Okay, and to salvage the skirt, I had to cut it with the buttons off-centered, which actually ended up being unintentionally cute in the end, so that was nice. But that also meant that my skirt was now way too small and was not wide enough to fit around me. So to fix that, I had to cut an extra little scrap of fabric, and I added that in, and then it fit me. Perfect. Kind of. I'm literally wearing an entire bodysuit right now. <laughs> I've been standing here for like 20 minutes to figure out how all these little panels are gonna fit together. This is gonna go there. This is gonna go there. I don't know. Oh God, this barely fits me. Why did I eat that Chick-fil-A? All right, it's time to sew. It's time to sew. Now this part is optional, but I'm gonna use my little serger and serge the edges of the skirt. This is gonna make the inside of our skirt look good, and also the slits are kind of exposed, so I don't want it to fray right there. So I'm just serging all of the raw edges. If you don't have a serger, you can always use a zigzag stitch, so don't you worry. I'm also serging the bandeau top and the plaid outfit. Now we get out the big boy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start by putting the checkered skirt pieces together, right sides together, and I'm leaving this little slit at the bottom open. I'll flip it around to the other side and pin the other sides together and I'm leaving the slit open here. I'm gonna sew the edges together, and when I get to the slit, I'm just gonna forward and back stitch a few times to make it extra secure. I'll press the seam open, and when I get down to the slit, I'm gonna press it towards the wrong side of the skirt and top stitch it down. And now it's a nice, neat edge. All right, now I'm gonna sew this poor little funky looking blue skirt, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, now I'm sewing the side seams of the little bandeau top. So I'm putting the front and back pieces of the bandeau top right sides together, and I'm just gonna sew them along the side seams. I'm gonna put this little polo top on and see if I like the sleeves before I sew them. It's perfect! I also have to hem it. Ooh, it might be a little short. Okay, maybe it's not perfect, but it is good enough. For this shirt, I'm just flipping it right sides together and I'm gonna sew up the side seam and down the sleeve. Simple as that. Now, I'm putting everything on to see how much room I have to add pleats or darts. Okay, this one I'm the most nervous and least hopeful about. Wait, this is cute. How, how is this looking so cute? I'm very surprised. Okay, five inches, which means I can do two two-inch darts or four one-inch darts. Last thing, this little bandeau top. This is gonna be this is gonna be small. Okay, so there's enough room on each side to do a little one-inch dart. Okay, so I'm gonna add four darts on the back of each skirt to make them fit me better. And I'm also adding some darts on the bandeau top as well. I'm gonna sew all of these darts. And now for the fun part, we're gonna hem everything. So I'm just hemming the top and the bottom of the bandeau top. I already serged the edge, so I just folded it once. But if you don't have a serger, you can just do a normal double fold hem here. I'm doing the smallest hem that I could possibly do because this is about to look like a swimsuit on me. <laughs> it's so small. I'm also gonna hem the bottom and the sleeve of this shirt. I'm gonna hem the top and the bottom of this skirt and the top of the other skirt. The bottom was already hemmed. Now for the final finishing touches. I'm sewing these little straps to add to the bandeau top, so I'm just gonna sew it down. I'm gonna flip it inside out, place it onto the bandeau top, and sew it down. Okay, and last but not least, I'm transferring over these buttons to match the angled buttonholes since this is a wraparound skirt and it's gonna button kind of at an angle. I don't know how, but somehow this skirt still ended up being kind of cute. 
I also added this little clasp onto the wrap skirt just so it stays wrapped around me. All right, so it's a little short. It's a little short for my liking, but that's what I get for making this out of a shirt. I love the top. I love that it's reversible. You can wear it in the back or the front. Overall, I give this one an A minus. All right, outfit number two, also very short way too short but besides that i love it i love the top i love the wraparound skirt i recommend finding the longest shirts possible if you're gonna make this or else you're gonna feel like you're wearing pjs overall i give this one a b it gets a b all right that brings us to the end of today's sewing project thank you so much for watching if you liked it or if you learned something or if you didn't like this video subscribe comment below let me know which outfit you liked better let me know if your mom would ever let you wear that my mom would not like if i wore that and one last thing be sure to check out anna louisa jewelry and you can use my code jessica 10 jessica sh10 to get 10 percent off your order have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next time bye bye